Welcome back to the channel and it's May and summer water is quickly on its way and what that means is going to be time to start sight fishing for Corbina in skinny water. This is my favorite way to fish in the surf and it's truly a technique that's unique to Southern California waters. Sight fishing Corbina involves actually seeing the Corbina come up in up to six to 12 inches of water and it's not uncommon to see the backs of the corbina out of the water as they're cruising in the ultra skinny water. The peak time to sight fish corbina are in the summer months between June and August and the ideal water temperature for when the corbina are likely to be found in ultra skinny water is about 67 degrees. In addition to the water temperature you also want the conditions on the day that you're sight fishing corbina to be calm, clear, and flat. What I mean by that is when I get to the sand, I want the water in front of me to look as much like a lake as possible. I'm looking for super clear water and a lot of time between swells coming in. In general, my most productive moments of targeting Corbina have been when the tide is between 1 to 2 feet. And a good pair of polarized sunglasses can help you quite a bit in being able to see these Corbina. I found that amber lenses seem to be the best for visibility. When it comes to gear, you want to go ultralight. Your standard trout setup will do just fine. I would recommend using a 1 to 2,000 size reel and any ultralight rod between 8 to 9 feet, light to medium light. My personal rod of choice is the Phoenix Trifecta Light 8 foot light and it's rated for 4 to 10 pound test and 1 eighth to half ounce. Personally, I like to use the Carolina rig with a 4 pound fluorocarbon leader and a size 8 owner mosquito hook and a egg sinker or bullet sinker ranging from 1 8 to half ounce. A size 12 swivel and a clear or orange bead can finish out the Carolina rig. This is not the only way to sight fish for Corbina. You can also target them using straight braid, um, 8 to 10 pound braid as well as a little split shot with the smallest hook that you can find, maybe a size 8 or size 10 Mosquito hook can also be very effective. Contrary to what a lot of people say, Corbina are not line shy. However, presentation is everything when it comes to sight fishing these guys in the skinny water. So the hook that you use, the weight that you use, as well as the size of the line that you're using can have a very big impact on the presentation of your bait when you're sight fishing them. You want your bait to look as natural as possible. If your bait is flailing around and tumbling all over the place, it's going to be a lot harder to get that bite. When it comes to bait, my favorite thing to use is sand crabs because they're so readily available and they're free. But you can also use mussels, ghost shrimp, lugworms or bloodworms. These can all be very effective baits. But again, sand crabs are my favorite just because they're so easy to get. And it is the primary food that the Corbina are looking for when they come up into the shallow waters. Well, I hope you found this helpful. I wanted to share with you a Corbina that I caught back in September of 2020. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Let's see if we can get 200 likes on this video. I'll go ahead and make another Corbina video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Until next time, Tide Lines. Oh. On. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a good fish. Um, I side casted him. I just wasn't expecting him to bite because I haven't been getting nothing. Let me loosen up the drag there a little bit. I'm on four pounds, so this is going to be a long while because um, it's a good quality fish. Um, I, I made a good lead, I just wasn't expecting to catch him just because I've been making good leads all day. Uh, I don't take anything for granted um, having lost some fish this year, so um, we're just going to hope we can hang on here. Man, I just felt a little tick in the line though, guys. Um, you know, there are so many here that I was hopeful yet not hopeful because it's been so long since I've caught a bean and I haven't caught this one yet. Let's see if we can land them. Um, got them on a nickel, nickel size sand crab. Yeah, he's a good one. Beefy. I don't know how long he is, but he's, he's, he's beefy. And he doesn't want to come in. He's a feisty one, that's for sure. More than, more than, um, reeling in he's just moving moving back with them 
um, as the tide rolls out. So hopefully here they'll give, oh no. Okay, he's turning every which way. Yeah, he's tipping over a little bit and he wants to give up. But thing is, I'm not gonna be able to get him in until I get a nice push here from the wave. You gotta use the wave to your advantage. Almost got him landed. Got him. Let's give him a measure. He's a good size. Right on the corner of the mouth, guys, on the sea rig. Oh, short, sure, short, sure. not even 20. So 19 inch, still a fun fight and uh, nice to be able to get on the board. There, he's upright. He's upright, he's gonna be okay. He's a little shaky, but he's gonna be okay. Thanks for letting me catch you, buddy.